Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we are working on this nav bar, right? So now we have successfully created the nav bar. Now if you click on these nodes and the stats, so nothing is working. So we are not able to see the nodes page and the stats page. Now what we will try to do is we will convert this one to the router link. Okay. So I am converting this one to the router link. First we will try to do this one. So I am converting it into router link. And what we need to do, so we need to add it to. So two means so to which page it needs to go. So we know that to and here name it should be notes and the another one is to name it should be stats right. So these are the two things. Now if I click on the notes and the stats not working what happened let's refresh this page I think maybe I am not running the server I think yeah yes I am not running the server let us run the server. So the server is on. Now we are able to see the notes and the stats page and the URL is also changing. So fine. <clears throat> so everything is working fine. Now what I want to do when I am in the stats page. So I need to ma maintain this uh, what I can to say. So I need to maintain this ease. Uh, so active one I need to maintain. So how can I maintain here? For example, let's say I am in the stats page. So right now the stats page is not selected. So what I need to do is. So we need to apply a class is active. So how can I apply this one? So we can have a this one active class for the router link the attribute and what is the class we need to apply so is active and for this one also you apply this attribute active class. Now what it will try to do is whichever the routing is active the particular routing class it will update. So now if you try to see here stats now the stats is in the thick red color if you try to see notes now notes is in the now if I click if I go to the notes now notes will be in the thick red color see. So the like this you will be able to apply the class now fine. <clears throat> so everything is fine. The nodes list if I am trying to see it is refreshing the completely it is refreshing. So what we will try to do is we will convert this one also to the router link. Oh, sorry router link. So I have converted this one and let's remove this say uh, Bulma. So that is the reason it re has redirected to Bulma and here what I want to do is so here also we convert it into uh, router link router link ok and here we will be having the two two is equal to name is we will uh, we'll go to the notes yeah that's it. So now we got the uh, notes list also so the home page we are having now fine so the we have completed this one what I can say um, the nav bar design for the desktop so all the navigation links and all those things are working so fine now if I try to do some like this. So if I go to the mobile page or anything, so 1024 pixel below. So the navigation will be converted into your mobile. Now if I try to click on this uh, hamburger icon, so it's not working. So what I need to do, so in order to make this hamburger icon to work, so we need to apply a class for this one is active. So if I try to apply this one is active, then hamburger icon has been replaced with a closing icon. Now another thing what we need to do is again another one we need to have for this nav bar menu is active again we need to do is active now again this notes and stats is has been opened so that means somehow in the mobile we need to apply is active and we need to remove this is active click class whenever you click on this hamburger icon so for this one what we need to do exactly we need to write the script code so script setup so here constant show now bar menu okay so we'll be having here constant it's a constant it's a ref available so react to variable so let's import the ref and here by, by default it will be in the false okay now fine so now show nav bar menu and here we will apply a class for this one so here i am applying a class ujs class binding <clears throat> now here what i will try to do is class so i need to apply is active okay i want to is active class so when the show nav bar menu is there that's it now if I try it, I need to apply for this one also right. So I will apply class. So I need to apply let's go to the enter yeah. So I need to apply class is active when this show nav bar is laid like this. So fine. So we have applied this one. Now we have applied. So what I need to do whenever we click on this hamburger icon I need to toggle that show nav bar menu. How can I do that one? So here at the rate at the rate click dot prevent why I am using this modifier is because this one is an anchor link right. So that is the reason I am using this modifier prevent modifier and here show nav bar oh sorry show 
nav bar menu is equal to not of show nav bar menu that's it now if you see the output so let's refresh this page <clears throat> and if i click on this one see it's working perfectly now if you try to click on the stats we are able to go to the stats page and notes page everything is working fine and another thing if you try to observe here if i am clicking on this nav bar menu this menu is pushing the stats page downwards i don't want to push the stats page or the page which is having the menu should not push it uh, down so the menu should come as an overlay over the uh, page so how can we do this one for this nav bar menu so this is the nav bar menu which is responsible right so for this nav bar menu i can write a style for this one scope also you can keep it not a problem so style so in this style we can write so this nav bar uh, mobile nav bar will come at max width 1023 so be below this 1023 pixel then it will come so here for this nav bar menu so which it should, should be class and i will apply um, position absolute okay so position absolute now if you try to click on this one see it is coming as an overlay but this notes and stats should not come as like this it should be a full width so for this full width what you need to do so you can apply width of 100% okay so like this you can apply now it has become full width so this is one way you can apply or otherwise some people will be applying as left zero and right zero then also it will work without any problem so left zero and right zero also works without any problem if you remove right zero so it will become short okay so they like this so if you give, give right zero only then only it will work or otherwise you can give a width of 100 percent also either way is okay css so if you want to know more about this positioning attributes and all those things i have already covered the css tutorial in that one positioning uh, properties all those things i have mentioned you so kindly refer to those things if you are uh, unaware of the css thing so don't worry so it's not a matter so just for the de design purpose i am doing so now for the mobile thing also it's working fine without any problem so here you'll be able to see the notes page now if i try to uh, minify so here also this notes page is also working without any problem so this is how now we have successfully completed the nav bar design and all those things now we need to design the notes page so this notes page design we need to do it in the next video we will try to focus on the notes view page we'll design the page and we'll try to do it and i will be committing this all the code in the video hyphen 76 okay so video hyphen 76 so this is the branch and here navbar functionality so i will do uh, what i can do is so here this is the thing right yeah navbar functionality and mobile okay so mobile also we made it work so let's commit these all the things and I'm committing this one so publish this branch so if you are having any doubts or anything in this project so what i am trying to do so you can check in the note list type and view so this is the project this is the pro github repo so whenever you are having doubts and all those things you can come and look at this one so if you are following my uh, project and all those things if you want to do this one so whatever the video is there so you can go to that particular video and you can watch this one and the description is and the link is provided in the description below so you can take a look at this one Hope you understood about this navbar design and the mobile responsiveness also. If you have doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.